What's going on, y'all? Right now, we're about to tackle this topic of exponents, all right? Whenever you have an exponent, you always have two things. You got a base, and then you have the actual exponent, all right? Now, the base, the base is always just considered the number, like it's the number. Now, your exponents, what's your exponents? Your exponents always represent how many times are you going to multiply the number. Let's do an example. All right, here we go. Say we got 3 to the second power. The base, which is always at the bottom, as you can see right there, is 3. And the exponent, which is always at the top, is equal to 2. So now our number, which is equal to the number, is basically equals to 3. And how many times are we going to multiply that? 2, because the exponent is equal to 2. So we got 3 times 3. So in other words, we multiply the number, which is 3, two times, and this comes out equals to 9. Simple enough, right? Let's try another one. Uh, 4 to the third power. Once again, the base, which is always the bottom number, is the 4, and the exponent is going to be 3. So what we're going to do, we're going to have 4, which is the number, multiplied how many times? 3. So, 4 times 4, which is going to be equal to 16. Notice I always work downwards because then I can always track back and check my work. And then I bring back the times 4. I got the 16 for multiplying the first two 4s and I just bring down the next 4. Now, 16 times 4, you can do that on the side or if you know it, it's 64. If you didn't know in your head, you can still do it by just doing, you know, regular 16 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Put a 4 there. You go to the top and put the 2 there. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. That gives us 64. All right. Um, let's just do one more example. And I think you guys should have the hang of this. It's just practice problems. Practice always makes perfect. So let's do 2 to the 4th power. So that's going to equal to 2 which is the number, because it's at the bottom, and it's the base, multiplied four times. Two times two is going to give us four. Four times two is going to give us, let's get to that, four times two is going to give us eight, and eight times two is going to give us 16. So that's your basic concept of exponents. All right, see you guys on the next lesson.